Hi, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so today we'll be doing this parallel sort of animation in Blender. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is uh, go on Google and type in magic spell pattern and download any pattern that has either a white background or a transparent background. I downloaded this one, so it's up to you. You know, uh, any any spell will do that has a transparent or white background. That sort of a necessity. And uh, the second thing you need to do is download this free software called Inkscape. Inkscape. Uh, this uh, is used to create SVG files. That's what we're going to be using today. And SVG files have a lot of other applications too. But due to the sake of time, I can't explain a lot of the other ones. But I will uh, try to explain um, a little bit of other options of it. So download it and install it. It's pretty much just like um, Blender installation. So there's nothing too big to worry about. Worried about. So then uh, open in, up Inkscape, go to File, Import, and select the image that you uh, downloaded. Scale it a bit up. Since it is vector based, uh, whatever textures etc. you create in this uh, software, you can later rescale them as long as you have this saved file. So uh, now we need to do is click on Path, Trace Bitmap, change the threshold to about 0 0.9 if you have a different spell than me then the value has will be different for you so you know if you have the same same spell like me uh, 0 0.9 will do well so then click on click on ok and then you get um, this black image I'll need to delete the original one so this black image isn't actually an image it's actually a vector you see that it has so many points so you have to save this as an SVG file and uh, to save this file save as and uh, the default setting is .svg so just name it anything and the default setting is .svg so we can save it as well I already have it saved so uh, the next thing is to go in Blender actually just close Escape and file import and .svg scalable vector graphics so wherever have you have saved it, just uh, import it. So when it's imported, you'll see this uh, little pattern. It's by default a curve. You can change it into an object if it's something else. But for this video, we don't need it to change into an object. So, but I will tell you how to change it. So click on Object, Convert to Mesh from uh, Mesh from Curve. Okay, select this one and then you can convert it. But for this tutorial, we don't need it. And uh, if you want to see what kind of curve it is, go into Edit Mode and As you can see, it's a lot of curves. So um, going back out of edit mode, it's first going to top view. We're going to move it. Uh, we're going to first scale it, and then move it to be around the center. About this looks good now. Click on O to go to camera view and scale it even more bigger. And then um, again move it into the center point. Delete the light, we don't need it. In the world settings, change the color to uh, this dark blue shade. Okay, now uh, we're going to give this a new material. Before we give this a new material, click on Shift A, empty, plane axis. And now click on this and uh, give this a new material. Go into the shader editor. Let the principal PSDF and uh, change the blend mode to alpha blend. Shadow mode to anything you want for this tutorial doesn't matter much. And turn on bloom. Add in a mix shader. Shift A. Mix shader. Shift A. Emission. Shift it transparent PSCF, shift it color ramp, gradient texture, mapping node, and texture coordinate. And uh, plug in the object into the vector. The instance object is going to be the empty mapping into the uh, gradient texture and change linear, linear to spherical color into the 
color of the color ramp color into refactor oh. and emission color should be this um, orange shade of shade this strength to about 5 will do well now but let's just look complete preview now you can see that uh, the empty is controlling the emission so you reduce the empty down enough to, uh, to you know make it completely transparent in the start and we also need shift a or circle tab into edit mode f to fill it and then s to scale it about here and we also need in a icosphere change the subdivisions to one subdivisions to one and give it a basic uh, emission material and a red color and then uh, G to move it somewhere else select this circle and also give it a transparent material blend mode alpha clip we also need to give it a particle system to give it a particle system um, lifetime to 100 lifetime render randomness to full render as object scale random then to 0 0.03 instance object should be the icosphere and field width turn off gravity now um, we need to go, go back to look dev or material preview select the empty and on frame 1 on its scale click i to add in a keyframe and then uh, go to frame 100 and then scale it all the way out and then click on i again now uh, the total length should be 120 and now go back to frame 1 click on this circle and then add a keyframe on its scale as well i and then uh, and then on frame 100 scale it to be as big as the uh, spell and then click i again to add in a keyframe on its scale now when we play it I think the particle scale should be a little bit bigger. Maybe uh, 0 0.04 would work in the top. So that's it again in render view. So I hope you guys learned something better. Please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and comment. Uh, so see you next time. Goodbye.